today's project, I'm going to go down to the wood shop, cut up some cedar. Um, I want to make, I want to make a flying buttress on the outside of my Gothic greenhouse here. And it's not going to be tall. I want to use it just for a cold frame. So it's just going to have a little bit of an arch on this little two foot pony wall here. So it's only going to be two feet high on the outside of the greenhouse. And uh, I'm going to go down to the shop and start cutting up some wood for the arches. Get them, start gluing them up. All right, let's get going. Start a new project. But I just wanted to show you this. This is my stop button. Inside you can see, inside that hole, there's a green on switch and a red off switch. This little guy right here, it is on, I'll take you underneath here, it's on a little hinge up there at the top and it's got right here, it's got a little block glued onto it right where the stop button is. So when you turn on the saw and you're using the saw, when you go to stop using it, you just hit it with your knee, hands free. Just a little tip there. Also, look at that table. You got all this stuff on the side, on the back side, so you can rip your stuff without worrying about having to put up a brace back there to hold up your long stuff. You'll sit right. something like this up against my greenhouse wall, my two foot wall, and then this will hinge up and hinge down. So yeah. So I'll cull those out. Let's see. We'll see how it goes. Sometimes they do okay. We're gonna need four of these guys. I'm gonna start over here, bend it around, and end it somewhere in here. Two foot line. So I'll just make a random point right there and put a C for center. All right. Now, let's glue them. For glue, it's a Type Bond 2. I don't get paid for this stuff, it's just what I use. I used it on my greenhouse and it's holding up really well. So, I buy it by the gallon and it lasts quite a while. If you do it right, you don't have to spread it as much. Put on enough. I don't mind a little excess. I'm going to run it through the planer anyways. All right. Just wiggle them around good. There's my two feet. All right, now let's get some clamps. I start in the middle. These are your good ones. Bar clamp. There we go. Good bar clamp. Now 
Now this is the hardest part. See? Garbage. Whoa. See that? You want to see that glue come out. Open this guy up. See how it loosens this one? So you gotta kinda watch all these at the same time. Hope you don't hear any cracking. I like to see that glue come up. I have a few more threads here. And, ah! Busted. Wasn't even on a... Wasn't even on a knot. You know what? Watch this. I'm going to C-clamp this one. We'll see if it works. Chuck, why don't you get a bigger C-clamp for your one inch worth of wood here? Well, I don't have a bigger C-clamp. I know, it's a little overkill. Look at that. Sucked it right in. I need one little clamp right here. Oh, that's a peach, hun. That is some sweetness. bottomed out on that one but it's okay you see that right here right here that seam there see it squeeze out that's what you want you want that squeeze out there Oh, money. All right, I got this guy over here left. I gotta back this one up, make sure I have enough. I'll have enough, but just shits and giggles. Okay, in the middle of the board, figure it out.
There she's moving. There's not much pressure on these middle ones. That's why I use those quick grips. Those quick grips are not, they're not great uh, clamps. They're not for putting stress on. All right, that's money right there. I got good squeeze out everywhere. Even right here. I got one more clamp right here I could put. I just don't see any squeeze out in this little joint right here. Now I do. <laughs> That's good. Beautiful. All right. So you see all that squeeze out? That's just a little lip here. Oh, sorry. Right here is a little lip right there. There's still squeeze out there. Back you up a little bit so you can see. When it gets all done, you can see, you see how many clamps I, take, I use. Good squeeze out all the way. You want that. You want that. I could have used plastic, uh, had that paper sitting there. Probably, it pro that paper will probably rip off, but that's okay. All right, that's it for today. All right, I'm back in the, in the shop, the wood shop. It's been a few days. Uh, it's raining out. It's a good day to work in the shop. I'm going to take this off the clamps and see how we, how we look. Okay, look, it didn't, didn't move at all. I mean, it's pretty close to the same spot. Of course, it is stuck to the paper. All right. No harm, no foul. Uh, I put that paper there so I could draw my, my arc on it. It doesn't need to be there. I just put my arc on there and then put my, my, my boards, I screwed my boards right to the line when I drew it with a pencil. So, it's all good. I'll show you what this looks like here. So here's the back side. Uh, this glue is just sitting there. I spilled it. The rest of it's dry. But um, yeah, this is hard, hard glue. It's all dried. I'm going to run it through the planer. Take off these. Uh, you can see the different heights and whatnot because. It, when you glue it up, it doesn't always come out exactly perfect. So I will wipe that w wet glue off of there. you show you what we got here I ran it through and you can see it came out pretty flat got stuck once right there it's got a little a little dimp, dimple right there this is where it broke that's not a knot here's the knot that it broke uh, this is just the mark that was left by the clamp but um, you can see the little glue line, so I'll just sand that down. We'll go from there. So I guess there was a knot, but I would have thought it would have cracked here. But instead it cracked way back here. Interesting. 
the glue came out pretty well. I mean, it's all nice and tight. So I just have to make about eight, nine more of these things. See there? Not too bad. Nice and tight. Yeah. You'll sit something like this up against my greenhouse wall, my two foot wall, and then this will hinge up and hinge down. So yeah, 